Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chris here again, and I have something pretty cool and interesting that I might want to share with you guys. So, November 3rd, anybody know what day that is and why it's kind of cool and important for me? Not really important, but pretty cool. It is National Jellyfish Day. So November 3rd, every year, it is National Jellyfish Day. So for those who don't know, well now you know. And with that being said, I want to show you guys something pretty cool. I haven't really shown you on the channel, and this was something I used to have when we used to live in California. Since then, we had to get rid of the old ones. And, well, without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is, let me set the camera down. My jellyfish tank, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick what this is. And no, I'm not talking about fake jellyfish. I'm talking about real, legit, uh, living organisms. <laughs> Jellyfish, all right. So the company that I bought my tank from was Jellyfish Art. So this is one of their first models. You can no longer buy this one, in je but they still do have new ones. They are uh, basic cylinders. Um, but this is one of the first models they have, and uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So with this model, um, whoa! So this model, it's pretty simple. You add the water. Receive your moon jellyfish and you introduce them to your tank and what's cool about it is it's basically a complete kit So I had all this stuff the air pump the substrate hydrometer feeding pipet Pipe it whatever you want to call it basically everything you need and what's cool about it is it's designed Like this for a reason it keeps the jellyfish centered in the middle everything keeps it nice and clean and pretty cool so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I already unboxed everything, have everything set up where I want it to be. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do a little run through with you, show you everything. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Not too many people you know have a jellyfish tank. Alright, now that I showed you guys the box, here's everything in said box. Alright, first things first, you have your jellyfish tank, right? It's made out of acrylic, so it's pretty durable, easy to clean. And uh, it is white in color. Let me turn off the light. So it is white in color. Very nice looking. So I've already shown you this kind of, I guess. So here's your remote. Comes with a remote LED. And what you can do is you can change it from different colors. Red, red, green, blue, you name it. Here's white. So. And there's, all, there's also different limitations on here. You can fade it. You can fade the color in and out. You can flash them. Turn the brightness up and down. A whole bunch of cool different things that you can do with it. But we'll keep it on white for, the, for this video. Okay, so I showed you guys the tank. Showed you the remote. It comes with a feeding pipe it. So basically, our turkey baster. Um, and the reason they send you this is because you have to feed your jellyfish and they eat plankton. Um, for those of you who don't know what plankton look like, just imagine little grains of sand. So what you would do is you would suck them up and you would feed them into the belly of your jellyfish. So that's what that's for. It also comes with your salinity tester right here. And they even have it uh, Barney style dummy proof. So you will basically want to make sure it sits in the red. So what you do is you fill this up with water and then the little needle will tell you what your parameters are. So as long as you're in the red, you should be good. You also get some jelly salt. So it's just basic salt water, or <laughs> sorry, not salt water, basically sea salt. Um, I'm lazy, and what I did was I actually bought uh, already done water. It's like Pacific Ocean water. Um, I'll leave that in the description below. Um, and then you also get your jelly bile starter. So this is what you're gonna need to introduce um, what was that called? Yeah, so this will introduce your nitrifying bacteria from a clean tank. Because once you set up a new tank and there's nothing in there, it does not have any bacteria like that. So this is what's going to start growing your bacteria. And then also has maintain, jelly bio maintain. You throw that in weekly. Right, and it has Kimi Pure Blue Nano. This is a activated carbon. Um, it's basically like a filter. And it's going to sit at the bottom of your channel plate which is the next thing, the channel plate. So this keeps the jellyfish from floating down underneath here and getting sucked up into this bubble channel. All right, so here's your, uh, I forget what they call that, but that's to help uh, keep everything clean. But as I was saying, this bubble plate, 
brings the bubbles up and that helps with filtration, gets the flow in a circular motion, keeps your jellyfish in the middle, that way they're not up on the walls or anything. And this, this channel plate actually protects the jellyfish as well because you don't want any bubbles getting inside of them that causes problems for your jellyfish. Um, let's see, oh yeah, most important thing is it comes with a jellyfish guide. So in here they'll teach you how to cycle your water, how to get everything started. The nitrogen cycle, which is important, tells you how everything breaks down. Um, and that's pretty much everything that comes within, uh, within that box. So yeah, behind is all the wiring, which is pretty easy. So you get, the, you get an LED light, and then you have this for your bubble, the bubble channel. It's a little motorized pump that sits back there, as you can tell. It's pretty quiet. So a nice clean look, and uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys little details on this tank. Some jellyfish art. Here's your bubbles. It's a little dirty, because I have been already threw in my jelly bio. I think there's just a little stuff within that, so I'll have to clean that up every here pretty soon. But this is acrylic based, pretty durable. Here's your little opening lid, so where you go to feed them, do your water changes and things like that. So this tank is five gallons, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And this is probably my favorite color right here. But at night, these tanks look legit. Um, so yeah, with the water, actually let me go ahead and show you guys what water I actually bought off Amazon. I only did it because I was too lazy to mix the salt water at the time. Um, but here you go, it's the Imagitarium Pacific Ocean Water. This is, I think this is six gallons, five gallons. I'm not really too sure. But I'll leave that in the description below. Amazon's pretty good, they deliver it over. I've never had a pop bag or anything. Cross your fingers. But uh, it's definitely helped out. But like I said, if you go that route, yes, you'll have your water, you won't have to mess around with the salt, but you are gonna have to introduce your ammonia source and stuff like that. Which brings me to my second point is you guys want to make sure you have a salt water testing kit. So within this, you're going to be able to, it comes with chemicals to test your tank. So you'll cover your uh, pH range, your ammonia and nitrite and nitrate. So it's basically science. It's like a science project. These jellyfish, they're not the hardest to keep up, but uh, it does require a lot of maintenance and they can get pricey. So keep that in mind. It's just a little video to show you guys my new setup that I'm going to be having here. But yeah, pretty happy with it. So if you guys have any questions, lay them down in the description below. And I will also have the description of everything that you pretty much see here from saltwater test to jellyfish arts uh, link. Other than that, yeah, here's just a little overview, overview. So what I'm going to have to do now is get all of my water ready. So I'm going to be testing everything, make sure all my balances are correct. And once they're good, i am got the green light to go ahead and order my jellyfish. So, without further ado, I want to say thanks for watching. Never live your life on idle, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.